Hi, this is Adam Bieck from AGB Counseling and Psychotherapy, a private practice located in Manhattan. In this video, I would like to give you an overview of what CBT is all about and how it works. CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, is all about correcting irrational thoughts and beliefs. CBT assumes that underneath most of our problems, whether it's problems with anxiety, depression, anger, uh, insert anything you might be going through, uh, it assumes that underneath all that are thoughts that we have uh, that, are, that have erroneous or bad logic in them, which then lead us to conclusions or beliefs that cause us to have bad feelings, the feelings that we don't want to have today. So the plan in CBT is to correct your thought process so that it adheres to a logical format of thinking, which in turn will then correct your beliefs. And by correcting your beliefs, you will also correct the negative feelings that you're feeling. You will eliminate the negative feelings that you're going through. The CBT model is very simple and straightforward. It follows an ABC model. A stands for antecedent, B stands for belief, and C stands for consequence. Antecedent is the thing that happens that triggers our beliefs, our conclusions about what just happened, the problematic thing. Uh, and C is the emotional consequence that follows as a result of our belief about that thing. So let me get a little more specific so it's a little clearer. Uh, the antecedent could be uh, your boss making some comment to you. Maybe your boss says to you, hey, you know, I really need you to get that project uh, done a little sooner. Uh, your belief might be something like, oh man, if he wants me to get it done sooner, maybe that means that he doesn't think uh, I work fast enough. Maybe he thinks I'm a bad employee, right? So th that's an erroneously reached conclusion, your belief. And then the C, the consequence, is going to be that maybe you're now feeling really anxious. Oh my God, I really got to put more effort into my work. Or, or maybe you start feeling bad about yourself. Man, I'm such a bad employee. Um, so that's how it works. So in CBT, we're targeting the B, the belief. And the way we're going to target it is by correcting the thoughts, uh, the thought process, the, the logic uh, that goes into arriving at B, at the belief. In a lot of ways, CBT is like your philosophy 101 class. If you've ever taken uh, a philosophy course, then you likely have covered some ways of logical thinking and common uh, logical errors that we make in thinking. If you haven't taken a course like that, but it's starting to sound like CBT might be uh, your cup of tea. I really recommend that you pick up a basic philosophy book that talks about logic, reasoning, uh, or maybe take an intro course somewhere. Uh, it might be really helpful. All right, so let's get a little taste of what uh, kind of erroneous thought processes CBT most often works with. I just selected three to, to give you an example of. Uh, the first one I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about is catastrophizing. Catastrophizing, I, I, whenever I type it into a Word document, it always autocorrects it. Uh, I don't know if that's an actual word or if it's only a word created for psychotherapists. Anyway, uh, catastrophizing is making everything into catastrophe. This is a situation that we're probably all familiar with. It's when one thing goes wrong and we start thinking everything is wrong. The next example I'm going to give you is leaps in logic. Leaps in logic is when we draw a conclusion without really having enough information about the situation. So, for example, maybe you see your coworker pass by looking really pissed off and you start assuming that they're pissed off at you. The reality, however, is that there's a thousand different reasons why they could be walking by you looking all pissed off that have nothing to do with you. And the last example I want to give you is all or nothing thinking. So this is the kind of thinking that's most often seen with people who have like this perfectionistic personality. Uh, and it's basically um, when we, unless we're number one, we feel like we're failures. It's kind of like the refusal to accept that there's a continuum uh, or a spectrum in life, that there's a process in reaching our goals. So that concludes my overview of the CBT. If you guys have any more questions about this, please ask in the comment section. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.